Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. And it is right before Footmas. I'm putting this video up for you guys because I'm gonna talk about some things Footmas related. Now we can actually focus on the promo since we got the messy SBC today that everybody was worried about, that everybody was talking about. It's out, it's here, it's expensive. And uh, the market did rise up a decent amount in other areas, uh, especially the other messy cards. Um, after the SPC came out because it came out it was like 2.5 mil. It's, it's went down a little bit, but it's still pretty expensive. So that is no longer hanging over the market anymore. We are now full into foot miss. It is coming. I'm going to show you guys the loading screen and we're going to talk through a lot of things today uh, regarding what we know so far about this promo and what we know from past FIFAs and how that could impact what we look at going forward. So this is the loading screen right here. As you can tell, there's a lot of like hidden things in this um, with national uh, flags like the moon um, and some of the other the verbiage and stuff that was out there. So I want to talk about that for a second. We're going to actually go over to Twitter and do that for the moment. Uh, this tweet today by Aviala uh, with the Footmas Nation. So basically, this is the image of the loading screen and you have all these different nations on here, right? And he's actually got counted up on his very nice tweet. Uh, all these different boxes and presents and stuff basically analyze something, right? The 12 different nations that are listed uh, or at least represented on the screen right here. So you've got England, you've got Uruguay, Belgium, uh, Switzerland, Croatia, Portugal, um, uh, Spain, I think that is right there. And then Mexico, Brazil, obviously Colombia right there. And then France. And this is the card design. And then over here, it says the to-do list, uh, club rank and check twice. So obviously what we're, we're seeing is this, the club rank for these uh, national clubs is probably what we're pertaining to uh, the club rank, like the check mark. So we can check that off, but then check twice. Like what is check twice? Now, I'm really interested to see what happens with this and if EA is inter is actually putting something into the game and they're going to they're going to tweet this out because earlier today on Twitter as well we had some code tweeted by Footwatch and this is the code right here basically what it says is uh quick sell recovery quick sell recovery rules recover the player items discarded within the past 24 hours so this is something that obviously um I tweeted this out today and I got a response from uh a guy named Mexicans on Twitter. And it was a screenshot basically from EA um, pulling back a quick sold player from somebody's squad. So this isn't something that's like new, I guess, on FIFA, but um, maybe they're giving us the ability to do that ourselves now. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with that, um, but it is really curious seeing like what actually that promo screen with the um, with the club rank and the check twice, what that check twice is actually going to mean. I'm really curious to see what that means for this game. Now, I don't see anything in the other than the menus in here about foot miss. Yeah, nothing really in here about foot miss, to be honest, yet. But that's probably going to change because it is starting today, Friday at 6 p.m. UK. We also have the team of the year vote today. That's uh, They're giving us a long time to vote. I think I posted my vote on Twitter. It should have tweeted out. Um, we did that live on stream, twitch.tv backslash the foot accountant down below in the description. You can check me out there. I do live stream on Twitch. Um, and that was kind of cool to do that today. And they, they're giving us plenty of time. Basically, like that's out for almost a month uh, before Team of the Year is going to be released. But again, back to Footmas. We, we talked about this a little bit. We touched on it in one of my earlier videos on basically what Footmas is. Um, and we're going to look at some cards right now on the game, kind of like a, a throwback, a flashback, kind of a reminder to last year of what we saw uh, for Footmas and FIFA 19. I want to show you these cards and this might jog your memory about what happened last year. Basically, we had all these SBCs and last year, um, I'm actually going to pull the webpage up as well. FIFA 19 Footmas. I should have had this up already. Last year, what we had during Footmas was uh, three SBCs every single day with a countdown by nation, league, and club is basically what it was. We got three new SBCs each day, the countdown from 11 to one, from December 14th to December 24th. So there were 33 player SBCs over 11 days. It was a lot of SBCs. So as you can guess, and as you can imagine, a lot of SBC fodder moved in price during those few days. It was a fantastic time to make coins. Some people that like to trade with SBC fodder, which is not necessarily my forte, um, but if you're good at that during this promo, this is like heaven for you. Like this is so easy to make coins. 
as the fodder fluctuate up and down in price based on the SBCs and stuff like that. So this is basically an SBC promo, unless they change what they've done in the past, which I don't think they'll do since we just had a pack promo with Team of the Group Stage. I think this is going to be an SBC promo, uh, but this year we probably, obviously we won't have the prime Icon SBCs we had last year. There were six new Icon SBCs last year and they, even gave, it, they gave us the rating. I remember this promo coming out last year and it was weird because they gave us all this information. Like they basically told us everything that was going to happen during Footmas and like they gave us so much information that they used, used to not give us during these promos. It was really cool. So uh, we had a weekly objectives, which I would assume we have this time. And I would also assume that we have the footmas kits coming back as well, which are really cool uh, and stuff like that. So I would expect a page like this on footmas to be um, coming out today on Friday at 6 p.m. UK, just outlining the promo with what's going to happen. And we will probably see our first SBC coming out today as well. So again, we talked about the club ranking, right? We talked about the club ranking. Let me go find that tweet again right here. So we found this tweet again. And basically what he's talking about is the club rank and checking twice. And he's got these numbered here, basically the club rank from tw uh, 12 down to one, uh, because there's 12 days this year between uh, Friday and between Christmas. Rank 12 is Swiss. So we're thinking the first day that Switzerland would have an SBC, second day Mexico, third day Colombian. Now, I'm not entirely sure what that's going to look like, I guess, in terms of are they going to do a player pick SBC where we can choose two items? Is that what the check twice means? Um, I have heard some people talk about that. Like maybe they put a footmas SBC out for the like Netherlands footmas, right? Or not Netherlands, uh, Switzerland footmas, right? And it's a player pick SBC, almost like a league SBC type format where you can click on the SBC and actually see the rewards, right? That could be a possibility for the way they're doing this. It would be very interesting to how those SBCs would be priced if they did that. Uh, but that'd be fun, I think. So that's a possibility for today uh, and how that could lay out. But basically, we're, we're looking at like a Switzerland SBC today based on what we know from that loading screen. And then we can kind of count it down as you look online, you can find the club rankings. It goes, again, back to this tweet, it goes Switzerland. It goes Switzerland, Mexico, Colombia, Argentina, Spain, Portugal, Croatia, Uruguay, uh, England, Brazil, France, and Belgium. So th that's the, the order of those teams. So of course, like at the end, we were really getting the high level and like the good player SBCs because of the nationalities. Not gonna say that some like the Switzerland SBC is gonna be bad. We could get a Kanji, we could get Shakiri, maybe Berkey or Sommer for a goalkeeper may not be the most desirable, but uh, there are some solid uh, guys that we could get from Switzerland as well. And then going down, you know, Mexico, we could have Lozano, we could have Vela, we could have Raul Jimenez, a lot of options, Hector Herrera, um, and then James, Falcao for Colombia, tons of options there for that one as well. And so how can we invest with this kind of stuff? Well, we're really going to first find out first day what we're going to be able to invest in uh, if they actually require that nationality of the day, which I do think they will. So like Switzerland players, if you look at some uh, gold Switzerland players, you can pick up, especially some of the higher rate. Jaka is not a bad pickup for discard. Summer at around 4,000 coins isn't bad as an 84. And then Berkey at like 8K for an 85 rated isn't bad either. But basically, again, this promo is going to be filled with SBCs and SBC solutions. So you're looking at informs, you're looking at high rated golds. That is the two most commonly required things for these SBCs. And I'm going to be honest, if you look at last year's Footmas SBCs, FIFA 18 was okay. They told us all the cards beforehand. It was leaked or whatever. We knew what was coming. Last year, there were no leaks that we didn't know what was coming. Um, and the player selection was really good but the pricing was not. A lot of the SBCs last year were very expensive. They were overpriced for a lot of people. And that really turned people off from the Footmas promo. Um, I would expect player selection to be very good again this year. Last year, we had a Sun, we had a Deli Ali, Rashford, um, Matuidi, Lacazette, Jerome Boateng, Firmino, Thiago Silva, Kevin De Bruyne. People loved that De Bruyne SBC. It was expensive, but you're gonna, we're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of SBC analysis over these next 12 days of footmas as well. So again, we're looking at investments. How can you prepare for this? Let me refresh this page to get the most accurate prices. 80, a lot of the stuff has risen up, man. A lot of the, a lot of the high rated were low. Uh, after the panic selling from the messy SBC coming out today, a lot of these guys dipped down. 86s were at 12K for, for a time being. 87s were under 20K. 88s were at like 27, 28. 
and even 89s were around like 40k for a bit of time but they've risen back up because people know that Fumas is coming and they've started to bu uh, buy some cards back right now into the hype of Footmas. So what I would say is if you can get some cheap deals, I'm talking like 84 rated with good nations, good nationalities and good links. Like Havertz for 4K is what I would want to pay for him. Bitzel, I would want to pay like 8,500 if you could. A lot of these guys I would want to get on bid possibly. Um, the goalkeepers and stuff like 7K. Most of the other 85s for 8K. You can kind of look at their graphs and really tell, but once we see this first day of Footmas and figure out what's going to be going on, then we can really figure out how we're going to be able to invest in this and what we're going to be able to do to make coins during this promo um, with the high rated. But I, I would expect that informs and high rated golds are the most things that we're going to be looking at and messing around with in the coming days uh, in terms of SBC requirements. Some of the informs are still low. Discard inform investing is de uh, definitely a shout here. They will probably put out a team of the week upgrade SBC during Footmas. They usually do. They have in years past. So be on the lookout for that coming at some point. Maybe not first day Friday, but maybe um, next week in the middle of the week, I think it'd be possible as we get into the bigger nationalities um, of Footmas and the countdown from 12 to 1. But again, some of these like 84, 85 rated informs, if we have a big player SBC that requires, you know, an 87 rated squad and an inform, then it's doable. It's like a really good player and it's a good upgrade and stuff like that. Some of these informs could be decent to invest in, especially like a Stuani, right? Discard, he's from Uruguay. That could be huge. Maybe you need an inform in a squad and you need a Uruguayan. That could be a guy that gets a bump up in price because of that. You see some Argentine strikers. You see some French guys, some English guys. You know, maybe when you're focusing, you're investing, especially on the informs, maybe focus on some of the nationalities that are going to be in the 12 countdown. Really focus on those. And even for your just your normal high rated golds as well, those are probably going to be what's required the most. So links to those cards um, and uh, those nationalities as well, like Rakitic for the Croatia day could be a good one. Rufier is, is French. Sommer, again, I mentioned him. Um, so yeah, just make sure you're informed with what nationalities are going to be included in these SBCs and what ones we're going to be getting SBCs for. And as we learn what cards come out and like what kind of the way that EA is running this promo, we'll be able to adjust, uh, accordingly based on what we see because of that. Now I want to talk about some other things that happened with this promo because obviously there's a lot of player SBCs, right? So when players come out of the market, um, that player plays a position, it has a value, either a lot of people are going to go do the SBC or a lot of people are not going to go do the SBC. So a great example that we've had already this year, we're talking about substitute and complement, uh, basically trading methods. So this Nabry SBC came out, right? It's a right wing in the Bundesliga. It was decent value. What other cards are right wings in the Bundesliga that could be hurt by this price or right wings that are German, right? So we automatically think of John and Sancho. Maybe, you know, you have um, Bellarabi as well would be two direct guys you would think of as um, players that play that same position in that play same position, same league that are similar cards, right? And that Sancho card, I think, took a hit when this Nabry SBC came out because the Nabry SBC was decent value. It was similar to the price of the Sancho SBC or to the Sancho card, Road to the Final. And that's basically what a substitute is, like a substitute thing that comes onto the game. Let's say we get an SBC, um, let's, say, let's say we get an SBC Furland Mendy, right? Furland Mendy, who I think is, it's very possible he could get an SBC, right? If this card, he gets a Footmas SBC, is he about 30K? somewhere around like 27, 26,000 coins for this card right here. Let's say he gets an SBC. What kind of cards on the market are gonna be hurt? What kind of cards on the market it could go up as a link investment to him? So Mendy comes out, right? A lot of people would wanna do that SBC. I mean, regardless of the price, they could probably make that SBC 100K, boost it from like an 80 to an 82 or an 83, give him like plus three, plus four stats. And I think people would go for that SBC if it was 100K. Do you think about if he got an inform that was that rating? Might be 100k on the market so what would you see drop because of that other left backs that are french inform dean dinier uh if i'm pronouncing that name correctly the evertonian left back french maybe even uh lucas not lucas hernandez theo hernandez he has an inform as well another left back inform that you could see drop because people are going out and doing his sbc uh that Furlan mendy sbc again this is theoretical i'm not saying that sbc is going to come out I'm just saying that it could come out and this would be a possible market movements because of that. 
Um, but what would go up in the case of that Freeland Mendy SBC? Now, there's a lot of French center backs that are used in this game. But when you're looking at uh, complementary investments or link investments to a new Footmas card, uh, it's got to be a good price in order for those link investments to go up because people actually have to do the SBC. You can't go buy link investments to, let's say they put out an Akanji SBC today. You can't go buy like, uh, well, Mbappu doesn't have an end form, so that's not really a good example, but you can't go buy like um, maybe Delaney to link to Akanji, both on Dortmund. You can't go buy Delaney if that Akanji SBC is really overpriced and it's not a good upgrade on the card, and it's not an SBC that people would want to do, right? If it's good value, if it's cheap, if it's a good card rating, then people would go and do that SBC, and that's when link investments work the most. So let's say they make a Ferlin Mendy SBC and they make it kind of cheap. Who would you link to him? Varan would probably be a decent one that you could look at. Um, Lang Le would be a really solid one, I think, just for his price range. How much is Lang Le? Is he like 50 or 60K? Somewhere in there. 65,000 coins right now for Ling Lei. I'm on his special accidentally, but what's his what's his gold? His gold is probably around the same, right? Just uh, around 65,000 coins for this card right here. Um, that would be the type of card that I would think could go up with a Furland Mendy SBC if it's a good value, if it's priced correctly and stuff like that. You're going to see examples of that every single day, okay? Every single day, you're going to see examples of that on this game. Um, because there's going to be more and more SBCs coming out each day, and it's going to affect more and more areas of the market. Now, of course, if you see panic selling on a road to the final card or on a scream card, that would be something that would be um, something that I would really pay attention to, right? Because these scream cards are very, very rare. So like Hamas Rodriguez, for example, this card right now is sitting around 275,000 coins for his uh, scream uh, center attack and mid card. Let's say they put out an Isco SBC, right? The Spanish man is Isco. And Isco's SBC costs 150,000 coins. He's got a really good card. Not really comparable to James Rodriguez, but it's a really good card. It's a center attack and mid and somebody who you might replace James Rodriguez with in your team, right? So James would also be a link investment to that guy, but he would, might be a substitute investment first. So you might see him drop right away as people sell their Hamas Rodriguez to go and do Isco if it's a good value SBC, if it's cheap, again, cheap, and if it makes sense to do a nice upgrade. Um, then you also could see this card rise up after it gets panic sold because people might sell the Hamas again to go do the SBC. But then they might buy the Hamas back to play him at like a center mid position or an, another linking cam squad uh, spot to that Isco card. So but a panic sell on a very rare card is something that I would be very, very interested in, especially if it's in a major position for a major league, right? Let's say they put out a BPL center back. Let's say Davinson Sanchez gets an SBC this week for the Colombian SBC. Let's say it's Davinson Sanchez, right? Let's say he gets a card. He gets an SBC. They boost him from an 83 rated. Let's say they boost him to an 85 or an 86, and they really juice his stats. Like we're talking... 80 pace we're talking like 86 or 7 defending i mean 80 pace might be too much 77 pace middle 80s defending middle 80s physical 70 dribbling 60 some passing like a big boost on this type of card you might see a little bit of a dip in price of like a scream otamendi and that would be something i'd be very in because especially a lot of people use this scream otamendi card um i just typed in scream wow that's a fail otamendi that's who I want to type in. This, this Scream Otamendi is one of the most used BPL center backs in the Prem because there aren't that many center backs in the Prem with special cards. And uh, this guy links to Zanetti. This guy links to Zanetti, who's a very popular um, icon swap player in this game. A lot of people did that one. And then a lot of people have him linking to Zanetti. Um, so that's something to think about and to know. And honestly, the ways you can kind of figure that stuff out is what's going to be a good link investment, what's going to be something that might be panic sold during this is honestly to think about what popular players people use in their teams, right? So, you know, people in this game, there's a ton of people that are probably using the new Wambi Saka in form, right? And who are they linking to him on the right side at a right mid position? Probably Raheem Sterling, right? If we get a right mid SBC for another English player, like maybe a Sancho SBC, you could see a little bit of the panic selling on Sterling. Um, or maybe like if they do another English center defensive mid or cm like we have deli ali right now this deli ali in form is up a little bit because people are linking this card to the new um sbc or excuse me the new 
version of Wambisaka. So Delhi right now is 54K. Wow. Yeah, he's up like almost 10K from when he was at his lowest in packs uh, because of that card. So if you saw like a SBC Jordan Henderson come out with like juiced stats, maybe you would see a price like this drop, a card on like Deli Ali could drop, but you also might see Wambi Saka's price go up because people would do the Henderson SBC and try to link him up in teams together. So that's kind of the fun with all these footmas promos and all the footmas hype and all the footmas players that come out is you really see a lot of fun market movements around those cards because it's shaking up what types of cards we have in the game. And of course, if, if there's one SBC that a ton of people do, because it's a really good value, then you're going to have to kind of think about, okay, going forward from here, people have this p person in their teams. Like a lot of people use Scream PK and they still use him because of that SBC. That really rose a lot of the um, Barcelona links and a lot of the Spanish links in La Liga that week because they were using that card. So that's going to be an interesting thing to look out look out for this week. Fumas is fun, boys. There's a lot of SBCs. It's fun to see who they put in, but the not fun thing a lot of times is seeing how they price those SBCs because a lot of times they are pretty pricey and they can get a bit expensive and it could be a bit of a coin sink, but the Fumas promo is fun, man. It's over Christmas. Um, there's probably going to be some team week SBCs that come out as well. We'll look at more of that stuff later on just to see again, what EA is planning to do with this promo, how much information that they give us today when they tweet out about this promo. Uh, so we'll be interested in all sorts of stuff like that. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. If you're hyped for footmas, hit the, uh, like button as well. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you are new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant, catch you guys later. Peace out.